Hello and welcome to the Coffee Chat Show with Jody Misiak, me. And um, so I was making sure my head's not cut off. There we go. So grab your coffee or tea and come chat with me today. So today we are going to talk about feeling like enough, feeling like you are enough. This can be really tricky as women and especially moms. We can look around us and see other moms doing other things, uh, parenting differently, and maybe it just makes you feel like you're not enough or there just could be so many different areas in your life you could be looking at. But being a mom is one of those things where you might look like, am I good enough? Am I a good enough mom? And I'm here to tell you today, yes, you are. <laughs> You are enough right here, right now. So I say this with so much love because I have been there myself. And I have those days still. This is not something that just magically goes away. And so over the past little while, like for in, in the past two years, actually, there's been, you know, a lot of things happening in my life that, you know, really... I had to work through. So for starters, when my son came just over two years ago, he, I, had a, I had to have a C-section just that's the way um, things rolled. It wasn't planned. Well, it was planned later on anyways. It was what was best for the situation that we, we felt anyway. So here I am, a person that loves to do everything by myself, like on my own. And I was 100% reliant on my husband. We have a side split, so we have stairs everywhere. So I was literally upstairs in our bedroom for the first week. And then I started venturing out, but I was relying on him. And that can be tricky. Like, let's go back even further. When my, my daughter was born, I wouldn't even ask for help for cleaning the house. But I also wanted the house to look 100% clean. Well, not 100%, but I wanted it to be clean and organized when people showed up. So I very much, I went from there to like, Letting my husband make everything and do everything. And then six months later, like, so we finally just felt like we were getting back in a groove. And six months later, I had my appendix taken out. And I was, now it wasn't as long and it wasn't, but I still needed to rest. And again, he fell into the habit of doing chores, like more, more, more of the work. And now finally that my son's sleeping through the night, I'm really almost like I'm coming through this like cloud of haze and realizing he is doing so much more of the workload. And um, there's many reasons for this. And, uh, but there are times where I'm like, am I enough? And I actually have that added thing. I'm, maybe some of you can relate. I work from home. So I'm not a stay at home mom, but I work from home and my son's home with me. Uh, and it can be tricky. <laughs> so from the outside, I look like I'm a stay-at-home mom, but I'm not. So that doesn't mean that I'm focusing on chores or any of the other um, mommy duties when I'm home during the day. And I actually just read a beautiful article, and it's, it's really just embracing that I am not a stay-at-home mom, but I work from home. And... Uh, so anyway, so that can actually make me feel like I'm not enough too at moments where it's like, wow, I, you feel torn, like, should I be doing the dishes? Should I be working? Should I be hanging out with my son? It's like the shoulda, should, like, should I, should I, should I? And it's taking those moments and step back. And I am so fortunate to have the most supportive husband ever. He, and like I said, he took on so many chores. So immersing through the fog of the haze of not sleeping, I realized that he's taken on so much more. We just kind of fell into a, a routine. Like he does all the laundry. He usually does all the dishes and most of the cooking. Like he does a lot. And usually it's the other way around, right? Us women are doing so much and the men might not be doing as much. Or maybe they are. And that's awesome. So it's just trying to find that happy balance between you and your family. And for, and finally, I'm like, okay, where can I help and how can I help, but not 
at the expense of my business, my children, or myself. And it's, and it's also helping my husband kind of take a step back and, and giving him time as well. But it can be really hard to think that we're enough when we see other people. I know I had a huge struggle these past two years when I was sleep deprived. I wanted to do so much with my kids. And I was doing a business, like I just took on a lot and, or wanted to take on a lot. But I knew that sleep was important, so I slept when I could. So you have to remember, one, not to look at other people. Everybody's life and journey is different than yours. And do what works best for you. So there was a couple of years there where my husband did more chores than, like more of the workload around the house than I did. And now it's just finding that, finding that rebalancing and because we just found in those patterns of he took on so much more that I couldn't do at the beginning um, when we welcomed our son into the world. And uh, it's just really rebalancing and figuring out and it's having those conversations. So if you are the other, if you're on the other side of this where you're doing so much more than others or like than your spouse or partner, have that conversation. If my husband, uh, I could just see he's taking out too much but sometimes we don't notice that so maybe you're doing too much maybe you don't feel like you're doing enough maybe you are doing so much but you don't feel like it and it's really being okay with where you are right now making peace with where you are and then go from there so on the days the moments um that I have like, wow, I'm not doing enough, or not that feeling of I'm not enough. You know, I'm not bringing my best self forward. Maybe I am not, but it's having that moment of like, okay, I'm okay with where I am, making peace there. And it's like, okay, is this where I need to be right now? Is this like all I can take on right now? Or is there something else I can do where that is where I'm at right now? Where can I help out? Where can I contribute a little bit more to the family? And it's not pushing yourself thin because for the most of you watching, you will most likely be on the other side what my husband's doing where it's almost too much. You're doing too many things. But you still might not feel like you're enough. And my husband and I are actually working on a very special project together. And I look forward to actually having this conversation with him to kind of get the other side of this conversation. And you will see more happening soon, but uh, it'll be starting in July where we'll really be sharing with this with you. And yes, so it's making peace with where you are right now. And again, I'm here today to remind you that you are enough right here, right now. No matter what you are doing or aren't doing, whether you just don't feel like you're living up to who you are, you, you are amazing just as you are right here, right now. Being in this group, you know, is the self-love is literally the foundation for everything. And where there's love, you know, love just conquers it all. So in those moments of feeling like not enough, start focusing on things that you are doing. Focus on things that you are, like focus on the things that you feel really good about yourself. Like, that's right, I did, you know, um, you know, I got my kid to school on time today, or um, I'm trying to think, they just, Focus on, like, yes, I fed my family today. Like, it might not have been on time, but they had a meal on the table. Like, things like that. Just, it's taking those moments. Like, maybe the laundry's piling up. I know in our house that happens often. And the dishes, the, you know, our kitchen is very much a working kitchen. We're always in there making food, and it's okay. And it's just making peace with where you are. I guarantee that you are amazing. And it's just, you have to remember life is a journey. 
And focusing on trying to be like a perfect mom will actually just stress you out. And following what other people are doing uh, will definitely stress you out. So it's going within and really figuring out what does motherhood like look like for you and your children and your family? And really just figuring out what you, what 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 makes you you. So here on Coffee Chat, I actually talk a lot about you know on the surface, like I really just touch the surface surface of topics. Uh, there are things that I can kind of do a general talk to. However, that's not all I do. I am an, a certified master empowerment coach, and I really work with emotions. Now, it can be tricky to portray that on Coffee Chat or anything else that I share, but I really do go a lot deeper than what I do and talk about here on Coffee Chat. Coffee Chat's designed to be fun, um, informative, and a place to kind of just chat because sometimes we can feel isolated as moms. So it's a really good place to kind of connect, have a coffee. You get to see me at my home and you know, you get to stay in yours. And it's like a little coffee date or a gathering around coffee. And I, so I don't go too deep on things. Now there's definitely been some, some topics that I've talked into uh, that go deeper and I've definitely shed some tears at, as well here but that's why i do one-on-one -on -one coaching and eventually i will be bringing in some group coaching as well to make it um because i only have so many spaces available uh, but there that's why i do coaching one-on-one -on -one. and at one point i was actually doing free coaching calls as well where anybody could jump on the line and do coaching and i'm hoping to bring that back at some point uh, Yes, yeah, so I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if that is something that you're like, oh my goodness, I could really use, you know, a deeper, to really connect with being enough. Like I really would love to help you with that. I love self-love and I love helping people move up the emotional scale so they can really feel empowered. And empowering, being an empowered mom is incredible because then we help empower our children. And just coming from that place of empowerment, it can just really change our world. Um, beginning with us and then going out to our children and their children. And anyway, so I love doing coffee chat and that will never end. But if you feel like you need a little bit more, more that you can't be covered in 15 minutes, please contact me, message me here on Facebook. I will put my fate, my email in the comments. And I have four spots, only four spots this summer available for one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you contact me soon, there is a summer special. So please, if you, if that's like, I need a little bit more. This is your time. I do only have a very limited time just because of being a mom with a child at home. I need to make sure that I leave those spaces available so when I can 100% uh, help you and commit to coaching you at the best of my ability. So if you're ready, please contact me and we'll just keep going further because like I said, I touch loosely on things on Coffee Chat, but there's just so much more. Um, and everybody's life and journey is different. So really uniquely listening to your story and helping you create the life that you actually really want to live. So, and again, mom and guilt is, an, um, is definitely a big part of what I do, but it's not all of what I do. So if that's something you want to do, please contact me. I would love to hear from you. And if you have any questions that you'd like me to talk about on Coffee Chat, by all means, please let me know as well and we will talk about them. So before we go, 
like I always do lately is um, I grab the Life Loves You cards and I shuffle and see what somebody, what we need to hear today or what some, one person needs to hear. What, does, what do we need to hear today? <laughs> I am, this is perfect actually for today's topic. I am open and receptive to love. Life is always trying to love you, but you need to be open to see it. Complete the sentence. I could make it easier for life to love me by. I could make it easier for life to love me by. I don't have this is perfect for today. You are enough. You are incredible. You are amazing. Life loves you. It's time to really embrace who you are too. I love you so much, guys. Or all you mamas. <laughs> love you lots. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye for now.